Welcome back everybody once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another exciting video and on this video I'm sure the title gave it away what I wanted to show you was how to prepare a ISO image okay or you know an image that we download from the internet on VirtualBox and how to be able to set this up so you can run virtual computers within your host environment now on this particular computer the host is running Windows 10 and as you can see, I have Oracle VM VirtualBox uh, installed. So you're going to need to go ahead and download that and install it. It's free. Just do a search for uh, Oracle VirtualBox, and you'll find it right away. You can install that. Once you have it installed, you can see here that I have three computers set up right now, or three different uh, in instances, right? I have a Ubuntu desktop. I have a Fedora that I've been uh, practicing with and playing around a little bit. And I have my Kali Linux that I use for penetration testing and, um, you know, uh, hacking, uh, ethical hacking attempts on different companies. So I have my Kali Linux. Today, though, I want to show you how to set up a virtual machine. And we're going to be using Windows Server 2022. Now, if you want to follow along with my Windows Server 2022 videos coming up in this series, I suggest that you go ahead and install it as a virtual machine. If you have an extra computer laying around, you want to do a bare, middle, a bare metal install, you can also do that. That's totally up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is click on New, and we're going to type one here, Windows Server 2022. Now, I have my virtual machines on a separate hard drive inside this computer that I'm using. So let's go to Other. And we are going to go to my D drive and VM. This is where I store them at right here, okay? And we're going to select that folder. Once we we'll select that folder, the next thing we're going to do is pick out Microsoft Windows. And the version that we're installing here is going to be, let's see if they have server on here. Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I don't see Windows Server on here. So we'll just take other Windows 64-bit. And we're going to go next. How much RAM do you want to give this? Well, for Windows Server, I would suggest giving it, I don't know how much RAM you have in your computer, but we're going to bring this up here to uh, 4096. That's 4 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, that should be plenty. Next, create a virtual disk now. So it's going to create a virtual hard drive. It's not going to take up, a lot of my students think it's going to allocate the 20 gigabits as soon as we do this. That's not the case. It's going to actually make a hard drive that will expand in size as needed. So let's click on Create. We're going to do a virtual box drive image. This is the drive we want to use here. Now you can do a virtual hard disk, a VHD, or you can do a virtual machine disk or a VMDX. We're going to use the VDI. Let's click Next. As you can see here, it says dynamically allocated or fixed size. Now, if you click fixed size, it's going to lock down 20 or 30 gigabits for your uh, install. <coughs> Excuse me. But we're going to make it dynamically allocated. That means as I install software and stuff on this uh, virtual machine, it can grow up to a maximum size of whatever we set this for. Let's click next. Now, it says 20, and I would recommend... For Windows Server, we're going to go ahead and give it 30. If you can't get this slider to work, you can just go over here and click. And we can just do 30.00, oops, 30 gigabit right there, and click Create. Now we have everything set up. What we need to do now, though, is we need to attach the ISO image into this virtual machine. Think of this as taking a flash drive. And let's say you're putting Windows 10 on a flash drive, and you're going to boot from that Windows 10 flash drive to load a new computer system. We are going to do that virtually. So if we go into Settings, and in Settings, we're going to click on Storage. And right here where it says Empty, you see that CD, it says Empty Drive. There's nothing there. Come over to the right where it says Optical Drive, and click on this little icon it looks like a CD right so that's your virtual CD tray choose a disk file 
And as I said, we're installing server. Now to get server, all you got to do is do a search on Google for, um, pull this in here, make sure this is in the video. Do a search on Google for uh, download Windows Server 2022 evaluation. Uh, you don't even need evaluation. You'll see it'll be the second or third link. And uh, I'm not going to go through that because I figure if you're watching this video, you already know how to download uh, ISO images. So we're going to connect this ISO image. So click on open. Another very important step is to click on live CD. The reason we want this is because it'll boot to that CD image first as it's firing up. That's why you want that in there. You want to be able to boot to the CD image. Click on OK. And now we're ready to go ahead and start this virtual machine and start installing Windows Server 2022. And we'll do that on the next video. I just wanted to get you set up and ready to go with VirtualBox and virtual uh, computers on your main host machine, whatever that is. Key element here, folks, is make sure you have enough RAM in your computer and make sure you have enough hard drive space to host these virtual machines that we be, will be working with. This series will be the Windows Server 2022 series, and hopefully I'll be working with some other series as we go down the road. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate you sticking around here. And hopefully tell your friends that may be learning. A lot of college guys come in here and uh, want to learn more about Windows Server or Kali Linux or uh, Ubuntu Linux or Fedora. And a lot of college guys come in and they, you know, get this as a little bit extra training. So it never hurts to learn a little more. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Jack's Tech Corner. And I will talk to you very soon for installing Windows Server 2022. We'll go through those steps on the next video. I'll see you then.